Devils hosting the Oilers, and the Oilers are minus 102 on the money line. The Devils are minus 118. The over-under is one of the highest I think I've ever seen in a handful of years. It's seven and a half goals. The Oilers getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 225, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose by one, you win. And the Devils laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 184, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two goals or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to the puck drop tomorrow. And it's probably because the Oilers confirmed Calvin Picard in net. And uh, his goals against average is 299, so it's not awful. And then Vanacek is supposed to be in net, but he hasn't been confirmed. And we know that the Devils, when they play, they have to score four goals in the games that he's in. Now, they played each other once this year in Edmonton, and the Oilers won that game Four to one. Head to head, the home team's on a two game winning streak. The home team is six and four. They are five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorites won the last two games. The favorite is five and five on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is six and four. There have been four one goal games in their last 10. The over is uh, five, three, and two, but the under seven and a half goals is seven and three. They had two games that had. Uh, over that in the last uh, five meetings, but it's been a couple years since they've scored that many against each other. The Oilers are back to their losing ways. They are one in three in their last four. Five goals, 11 goals, six goals, and then four goals. They scored four goals in a win, and then four goals in a loss, one goal in a loss, and one goal in a loss. And in all of those games where they were winning, they only scored fewer than four goals once. So they, they're another team. They need to score four goals seemingly to win these games. For the Devils, they're on a two-game losing streak. They are 2-2 two and two in their last four. Three goals, nine goals, six goals, five goals. Two goals in an overtime win, six goals in regulation win, one goal in a loss, two goals in an overtime loss. I'm going to take the Devils with the money line. I'm going to take... I'll take the Oilers getting the goals, and I'm going to go under. I really don't think that this is going to be a high-scoring game. And it'll probably come back to backfire on me, but two goals in the last couple games for the Oilers, not looking so good. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.